What's up guys, Tristan here and I am back with a quick video and today we're gonna to be talking shutter angle. If you have ever wondered why your slow motion footage comes out choppy and not buttery smooth when you throw it in post and slow it down, chances are you're not shooting at the correct shutter angle. General rule of thumb, when you're shooting slow motion footage, for instance, you're shooting at 60 frames a second, you want your shutter speed to be double that. So 60 times two is 120. So you want your shutter speed to be one 120th of a second or for most cameras, one 125th of a second. It's the same when you're shooting at your regular frame rate for me, which is 24 frames a second. I want my shutter speed to be double 24 so it'd be 1 48th of a second, or for my camera, 1 50th of a second. So for a quick demonstration, we're going to toss it to Outdoor Twistin. Twistin, Tristan. He is somewhere out on a basketball court, so let's go ahead and toss it to him. All right, thank you, Studio Tristan. So I am out here at this random basketball court in my neighborhood, and to get slow motion shots, I'm going to be power sliding my Super 73. I'm gonna be doing this power slide four times. The first two shots are gonna be shot with the Canon 6D Mark II, One's gonna be shot at 1 60th of a second at 60 frames a second. And the second shot is gonna be double that, 1 1 25th of a second at 60 frames a second. And the second two power slides are gonna be shot with the ESR. Again, same thing, one shot's gonna be at 1 60th of a second at 60 frames. The second one's gonna be double that, 1 1 25th at 60 frames. And you're gonna see how choppy it is when you shoot with the wrong shutter angle. I swear I did that power slide like 16 times in total to get the perfect shot for each of the four shots. But now I'm gonna throw it back to Studio Tristan because we're done here. Back to you, Studio Tristan. Thank you, Outdoor Tristan. Now, as you can see, when using the DSLR, in this case, the 6D Mark II, you're able to get away with shooting at the wrong shutter speed. But again, I wouldn't recommend it only because it's always just best to follow that general rule of thumb when it comes to your shutter angle. Um, but when it came to the EOSR, you absolutely cannot get away with shooting at the wrong shutter speed. You can see when shooting at 1 60th of a second at 60 frames a second, say that three times fast. When you slow it down, the footage is totally choppy, it's completely unusable, and you do not want to put yourself in a position where you can't get that shot again. So again, best practice, your shutter speed should be double your frame rate. Side note, when I do throw my footage in Premiere and I slow it down, I slow it down to about 40% and I choose optical flow just because for me it's worked in my personal experience. So that about does it for this video guys. Again, if your slow motion footage is coming out super choppy when you throw it in Premiere or Final Cut or whatever editing software you use, it all comes down to the correct shutter angle. So I hope this video helped. If it did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me please and subscribe to my channel if if you haven't already, I upload videos weekly. My name is Tristan Irvin. Follow me on social media and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.